Oh, of course. I'm going to send it to one of my favorite meteorologists, Mike Seidel, who yet I have not been able to meet, but I hope to meet someday soon because, Mike, you're lovely and I love everything you do. Oh, my gosh. My gosh, what an introduction. <laughs> now, here comes a car down the road without their lights on. This car is coming down the road right now without their lights on. It's a minivan. I don't think they realize they just have their parking lights on. That's, that's really a big no-no uh, anytime, let alone in a snowstorm. Temperature is 8 degrees, so we're about 25 degrees colder than Boston, uh, about 30 degrees colder than you get out on Long Island. The warm air is really coming up the coast. It's in the 40s on the South Jersey shore, so thank God goodness, uh, things have changed. A couple of days ago, we were concerned. The models were having a tough time uh, trying to figure out what was going to happen in the big cities like New York. Uh, but now it, it's uh, pretty much certain with temperatures well above freezing, it's going to be mostly rain, all rain in the city. Uh, the concern we don't have up here like they will have in Boston and many areas closer to the coast is the uh, the concept of a flash freeze where you have slush on the ground and everything just freezes because the temperatures fall very quickly. Now, there will be that uh, fight, that timing between the rain ending and the cold air coming in, but a lot of times you often see that the wind will evaporate the moisture off the road and you're okay. Up here, no worries because it's so cold and it's not going to get much above, say, 24 or 25 even tomorrow morning. The big difference tomorrow will be this snow, which is like pixie dust doing my LeBron James my best LeBron James you pick it up here look at that hardly any wind right now four or five miles an hour so it's just coming straight down tomorrow that's not going to be the case we're going to have winds gusting 25, 30 plus miles an hour, blowing and drifting right into Monday morning, plummeting temperatures. It's eight now. It's going to go up and then go back down to below zero. And our wind chills by Monday morning here in Albany will be down around 25 below zero. This is very, very dangerous cold. But it does warm up ahead of the next storm, which is going to go to our west looking ahead. Tuesday, 21. Wednesday, 39 with some rain and snow. Right now, a uh, storm track to the west brings the warm air up the East Coast. So those uh, those of you on I-95, Boston, New York, Philly, whatever comes in Wednesday midweek will be rain. We'll keep you updated. We've got coverage around uh, uh, the area till 1 a.m. here. Back in the morning, Jim Cantori in Woodstock, Vermont. And we'll also uh, check back in uh, with folks in Pittsburgh, Hartford, and back here in Albany tomorrow afternoon as the wind howls and blows the snow around.